on a previous slide we talked about the pressure of a gas and I had drawn a cylinder and had a piston here and if we had some gas in a container we could move that piston down so that uh, so now this is the same container and one two three four five six seven so if we had seven moles of a gas we could change the volume that the gas occupied by um, moving a piston up and down. This is the same concept as changing the volume of, of a gas by sitting on a balloon. So the remember a gas is always in motion and when a gas hits the side of the container that's what causes pressure. So if we reduce the volume of a gas for example by sitting on a balloon we're going to uh, if we decrease the volume of the gas, the pressure is going to increase. So in a smaller container, those gas particles are going to be hitting the side of the container more often. So we could have a pressure increase if there's a volume decrease. And that is referred to as Boyle's Law. So this guy does not tell a gas what to do, of course, but he's the one that came up with the mathematical relationship for this. In fact, if we cut the volume down by half, the pressure, the pressure is going to increase by exactly two. So Boyle's Law states that the pressure times the volume at instance one, so we say P1 V1, is going to equal the pressure times the volume at instance 2. So one of the ways of writing Boyle's Law is P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So again this is instance 1 for example right here. If we have this situation we know the volume of the gas and we could measure the pressure of the gas. If we cut the volume in half then the pressure over here is going to exactly double. So this would be the pressure and the volume after we have done something. So this would be, oops, instance two. And this mathematical relationship is true as long as the temperature doesn't change. So this is referred to as one of the simple gas laws. Another way of thinking about Boyle's law is P initial conditions times V initial conditions equals P final times V final. It's a little cumbersome to keep writing all that stuff out so generally we don't do that we just take a shortcut and say P1 V1 equals P2 V2 and what Boyle's law one of the things that this tells us, if we think about any two numbers, if we multiply two numbers together, if we change one of the numbers, like double this, then this factor would have to go down because the product of these two parameters for a gas always have to equal each other. Here the units uh, can be anything and as long as the units are consistent with each other. So what that means is the pressure, as long as the two pressures, if two pressures were given, as long as they're the same pressure, uh, we don't have to care about anything. And the same with the volumes. We're going to end up looking at some laws where the units are critical. But in this case, P could be in atmospheres or millimeters of mercury as long as the two pressures were the same and V could be in milliliters or liters and to use Boyle's law we have to know three out of these four parameters so Boyle's law is basically just plug in the three values that are given to solve for the unknown okay, and there's examples of like that 
in your book, and we'll do some examples in class.